Hey everybody, is there something that you would really want to do someday? Maybe it's driving a car, finishing the school year, or just getting out of this current quarantine and seeing your friends. When do you think those things will happen? Sometimes it feels like the things that we really want to do will never happen. In our story today, we'll learn about two people who finally got to experience something they had hoped to do for many years. How do you think that you would feel? Jesus had an earthly family, just like we do. We've been learning that Jesus's family line proved that he is the Messiah. Jesus is the answer of all God's promises to Adam, Abraham, David, and more. Then we learned that God sent a messenger to go before Jesus, just like he promised he would. His name was John. John was born to prepare the way for Jesus. Last week, we finally got to the moment God's people had been waiting for. Jesus was born to be God's promised savior. This week, we'll learn about the time Jesus was dedicated in the temple. Today, we're continuing our study of Luke chapter 2. Let's check it out. And Luke chapter 2 says, One day, when Jesus was a few weeks old, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. At the temple, Mary and Joseph presented Jesus to the Lord and offered two birds as a sacrifice. Another man was at the temple. His name was Simeon. Simeon loved God, and he trusted in God's promise to send a Messiah to save people from sin. God's Spirit was with Simeon, and God had told Simeon that he would not die until he saw the one who would rescue people from their sin. Simeon saw Jesus and picked him up in his arms. God's Spirit showed Simeon that Jesus was the promised Messiah. Simeon was so happy. He praised God and said, Lord, you can let me die now. You kept your promise, and I have seen the one who will save people from sin. Simeon said that Jesus would save God's people, the Israelites, and Jesus would also save people from other nations. A woman named Anna was at the temple too. Anna's husband had died, and Anna was very old. She stayed at the temple and worshiped God all the time. Anna came up to Simeon, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and she began to thank God. Anna talked about Jesus to people who were waiting for God to keep his promise to send a savior. She told them the good news. The savior was here. Mary and Joseph finished dedicating Jesus and making sacrifices to God. They obeyed God's law. Then they went back home to Nazareth. Jesus grew up and was strong and healthy. He was wise and God was happy with him. One thing that I want to point out is that Mary and Joseph obeyed the laws God had given his people about how to present a baby at the temple. Jesus' parents knew Jesus was God's son and were committing to raising him the way God said to raise children. Jesus' whole life perfectly fulfilled God's laws, even when he was just a baby. It's also interesting to see that Simeon found Jesus in the temple because God's spirit led him there. God told Simeon that he would live to see the day the Messiah arrived, and God is always faithful. Simeon praised God and declared the truth about Jesus. He would save people from sin. The nation of Israel had been waiting for years and years to see the Messiah, but not everyone lived to meet him. What a special feeling that must have been for Simeon. After Anna met Jesus, she began to tell those around her about Jesus. She understood God's faithfulness too. The people had been waiting for salvation and the one who would provide it finally arrived. Simeon and Anna worshiped Jesus as the Messiah. Let's look at it this way. Here's an experiment that you can do at home with your family. First, you need a clear glass you need a clear soda, and you need some raisins. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour the soda into the glass, and we're going to put the raisins into the glass. Now, what do you think is going to happen when we put the raisins into the glass? Do you think they're going to sink? Do you think they're going to float? Could it do both? I don't know. Let's find out. So we take the raisins, and then we pour them into the glass. So as you watch, immediately they float down to the bottom. But if we keep watching, they do something unexpected. Then some of the raisins start dancing. 
they start dancing around. And it's not immediate, but after waiting for the raisins to move, sometimes they float up to the top, they go back to the bottom, and then they come back up. And it's just like our story today. At first, you might be thinking, what does raisins in the bottom of a container of soda have to do with Jesus? (laughs) That's boring. But if we look at it, After a while, it was really cool to see them bounce up and down like that. Dancing raisins. Who knew that was even possible? You know, sometimes you have to wait patiently before you get to see something spectacular. Simeon waited patiently to see something even more incredible. God allowed Simeon to see Jesus, the Messiah, before he died. Now that's something worth waiting for. Both Simeon and Anna worshiped Jesus as the Messiah when they saw him. So I guess sometimes it really does pay to wait for something. Simeon didn't know exactly when the Messiah would show up. He just knew that God had made a promise and God always keeps his promises. Simeon showed great faith by trusting God's promise. In the end, he praised God for sending the Savior to rescue his people from their sin. Let's pray together. God, thank you for always keeping your promises. Thank you for sending the Savior to us to save us from our sin. And Father, we don't want to do anything to disappoint you. But Father, sometimes the things that we think, say, and do break your rules. So Father, thank you for sending Jesus. And Father, show us ways that we can share this story with our friends, our family, and loved ones. Thank you for always loving us. Amen.